Hello everyone, welcome to another Funko Pop unboxing video. Today I'll be unboxing the Glow in the Dark Pinhead, uh, exclusive to Hot Topic from a couple years ago actually. Um, I wanted to get this mainly because this new release here of The Chatterer, which will be in the next video, um, should be uploaded actually at the same time as this one. Um, this came out recently and I was inspired to actually go watch the Hellraiser movies because I've never seen them before. And um, the first movie had a brand new Arrow video release, um, or video, the Blu-ray release, I should say, and also a part two. Um, I bought the part one because I wasn't sure how the sequels were going to be. I bought the first Hellraiser Arrow Blu-ray because I heard it's great, obviously, and then the sequels are kind of from what I heard. Um, I watched the first Hellraiser, and I very much enjoyed it. And then I went along and bought the other movies on a, a DVD set. Um that had most of the movies for like really cheap. Um, I did watch the first four movies. Hellraiser 2 was okay. It was very much a rehash of the first movie. Hellraiser 3, I actually really enjoyed, even though it's like super over the top. I really love how they made Pinhead like super evil in that one. Um, but it's very over the top um, and crazy. And then Hellraiser 4 was very bad. So I kind of stopped after that. <laughs> um, I do want to watch the other ones though, um, eventually. But uh, yeah, I love Pinhead. He's awesome. Um, for years, I owned the regular Pinhead, which is right up there. Um, but I'd never seen the movies. Like I got that pop out of a uh, horror block. If you remember horror block, it was a subscription box. And um, yeah, I just never really saw the movies. And I never understood why Funko had to put Hellraiser 3 here. I do understand now. It's because the first two Hellraiser movies were by a different company, and then Miramax uh, bought the rights, I guess, and they've made every Hellraiser movie since. Um, well, Miramax, Dimension Films, whatever you want to call it, same same business. Um, so yeah, that's the reason why they have to use Hellraiser 3 on the box. Just like Chucky, they always have to put Child's Play 2 and not the first one because... Child's Play 2 was the first movie by Universal, who still owns the rights. But uh, yeah, um, I always saw this in Hot Topic. Well, not always. I'd see it frequently, but I never... I was like, oh, I'm not a Hellraiser fan, so I won't buy it. But now I'm a Hellraiser fan, so... Um, this supposedly does glow in the dark. I haven't tested it yet. Um, bought this off a seller on eBay. Fortunately, the box has a little bit of a uh, dent right there, but it's not a big deal. Um, so yeah, let's take him out of the box. And um, from what I can tell, this is based on... When he was, if you watched Hellraiser 3 at the beginning of the movie, I don't want to give any spoilers. It's not really a spoiler. But he's sort of, um, kind of like Han Solo, Frozen and Carbonite. He's a part of this art piece that's like a statue. And he's sort of like in the statue in this position with his arms crossed right there. Right there. Um, and he doesn't have the lament configuration like the regular one does. So that's why he looks different like this. Um, but still, I'm glad this glows in the dark. Like, I, I'm going to test it right now. But, um... If I remember correctly, this is part of a mystery box at, Hel at a Hot Topic. It was like uh, three different pops, and they were all mystery. So you opened it and found out what you got. I don't know. Something like that. But, um, yeah, there's Pinhead. Same exact mold as that one, except the arms are crossed, obviously. And no uh, puzzle box in his hand. So, But, yeah, very, very cool. Love Pinhead. Doug Bradley is amazing. Um, now I say I bought all the movies. I didn't buy the last, the most recent two because they don't have Doug Bradley in them and I hear they're horrible. So I don't even know if I'm going to bother buying those, but, um, yeah, hopefully the sequels after part four are better because part four was really bad. Um, <laughs> but anyways, let me turn the lights off and try to, uh, try to see if he glows. Like I'm recording this during daytime, unfortunately. So, um, Hmm. Like my window, obviously over there. The shining light you know what? let me go take him over here where it's kind of dark um, oh yeah he does glow you know what i'm gonna take you guys on a little adventure here let me take this off all right so i'm coming over here by my door yeah look he does glow there's me in the mirror <laughs> so yeah look at that wow okay yeah i never really uh when the lights were off i never really looked over to see if he was glowing inside the box or not but there you can tell he does glow so that's very cool. It has a very good effect. So that's it. That's the unboxing. Let me put you guys back on the tripod. <laughs> All right, so uh, here we go. My next video will be for Chatterer, obviously. And it's funny that they put Hellraiser 3 on his box because he's not even in that movie. Um, <laughs> but anyways, yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching, guys, and have a good one. Bye-bye.